Um, next up, we're talking to Max Emiliano Gonzalez, also known as GEMS. So Max is an activist, art educator, muralist, graffiti writer, printmaker, curator, and more, tons more. Um, Max came to Pittsburgh from Chicago, and they seek to give value to underrepresented voices, movements, and art forms through their work. So we have Max live on the scene. I have to find Max. Um, here we go. Max, are you there? Can you talk to us? There you are. Hello, I'm here. All right, so I would encourage you all to go into speaker view so you can see Max live. Um, Max, I'm gonna start the timer and then I'll give you your one minute warning. Sound good? Yeah. All right, you're good to go. All right, so um, I'm a muralist primarily. I primarily focus on spray paint. So for this, when I was thinking about sphere, I was thinking about simple action of spray paint, creating a sphere, just a very gestural movement. And I was thinking, what would be the antithesis to that? Um, so I was thinking about roller paint. Um, it produces this very square, rectangular swipe over whatever it's painting over. And in the world of graffiti, spray can art, uh, this is typically the enemy to the spray paint. So this is what removes it, or what we call buffing. Um, so I'm just going to do a back and forth process and talk a little bit more about my ideas with it. Um, but yeah, just a big part of this is about erasure and the process that goes on between a creation of art with the spray can and the removal of it and what might be seen underneath the ghost of the image. I'm just gonna be going back and forth. So after each spray, I'll do a uh, swipe of the roller. And I don't know, just kind of seeing what the end result will become. Um, and just the idea that like, even though there's this process of erasure going on, there still is a history of it. Typically when you see graffiti getting painted over or buffed, uh, it's not always done the best. You still will see the image underneath. You'll still see some history after a period of time. Uh, the buff paint will start to fade. And uh, so yeah, there's definitely a life beyond uh, art that is removed. Um, as I was thinking more and more about sphere, uh, it kind of also came into the concept of like a social sphere or the sphere that my graffiti takes up or that like my name takes up or my personality. Uh, being that graffiti, spray can art, uh, is very much about putting yourself out in the public. Um, there can be a process of where your personal identity gets erased, gets removed, even with murals, legal murals, they might get painted over. Uh, so just understanding your history with that and how you present yourself to the outside world. Um, and I guess uh, there's even more recent developments with that thought of sphere and people I surround myself with and their spheres. Uh, on this past Monday, one of my really good friends, he unfortunately passed away. Uh, he was struck by a train, was also very involved in graffiti, graffiti art. And uh, even though he is physically gone, a lot of his graffiti remains. Um, a lot of his social impact remains. A lot of people are very, very fond of this person. And uh, it's just um, seeing how like his fear, his impact, it goes beyond this act of erasure of his physical being. Um, and how he's still present, and that despite this this action, this undoable action, uh, you'll still see him underneath it. You'll still see him through it. Uh, there's no permanent erasure of him, his identity, his influence, um, and then literally just his graffiti. You'll see it around. Like it's gonna last. Uh, beyond that, a lot of his friends or and myself are continuing it. And yeah, just like seeing, seeing that there are the limitations of, uh, of graffiti and your impact and your name is a lot less limited than I thought it was because you might think it's over once you're gone. Uh, but in this scenario, it definitely is not the case. And uh, yeah, and just, just like this piece here that I'm producing, 
throughout these multiple actions of creation, erasure, um, redaction, and then action, we still are left with something. We still have this impact, and it definitely won't look ex anything like its original form or maybe what it was intended to look like, but there's an intention, but You've got 40 it still seconds. produces something. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, and it's kind of corny, but just trying to work with what you're given, understand the conditions that you're given. And, uh, when you make your pretty spheres, make your big old sprays, put your identity out there, don't be upset that it'll be erased eventually. Um, there's an inherent uh, temporality to graffiti, uh, spray can art, and to all art, and to literally everything. So uh, understand that, yes, uh, it is based on the context that it exists in, but even after it is gone and there is no physical self or physical presence, it still exists. All right, Max, your time is up. Way to... Cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Give every yeah. Does that look like art? Looks like art. Is that art? Art.